Do you ever struggle with not having anything to wear? Maybe you wake up in the morning and you think to myself, oh my gosh, I don't have anything to wear. What am I going to do? Well, I am here to tell you why you think this, and that is because you probably don't have enough wardrobe essentials in your closet. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing the top 10 wardrobe basics, wardrobe essentials that every woman over 40 needs in her closet to make getting dressed easier for you every single day. I promise this will make your life so much easier. Before I get started, if you would please hit that little subscribe button. I do publish two new videos every week and I did start my channel a few years ago to help women just like you look and feel like the best versions of themselves. Now, while you're watching this video, if you would please leave a comment and let me know if you already have one of these wardrobe essential and which one you find yourself wearing the most often because I think it'll be really cool to see all the comments and everyone can kind of read like, oh, I have a black blazer, I literally wear it all the time or I have a leather jacket or what have you because I always love hearing from you guys. All right, item number one is the black blazer. Absolutely, without a doubt, one of the most versatile and timeless jackets any woman can own is the black blazer. Like hands down, you can wear it to the office. You can wear it out at night with denim and heels. You can wear it to church. You can wear it um, to a Sunday brunch. Like literally you can wear it with a t-shirt and sneakers and jean shorts on the weekends. Like it is such a versatile piece. It is hands down one of my most worn jackets, no doubt about it. And I'm gonna talk about two of my favorites at two different price points to give you guys an idea because you certainly don't have to spend an arm and a leg on these pieces. But I would suggest, you know, if you're sort of wavering between which one, it just depends on which one you can afford. Obviously, I do feel like the more money you spend, it's gonna last longer. But the two I'm talking about today are both very high quality. The first one, is the Balmain Blazer. You guys have heard me talk about the Balmain Blazer before. If you've ever watched any of my videos, it is the epitome of all blazers. Like literally, it is made to a T. It is tailor-made. It is structured. It is cut in at the waist, just like a structured blazer should be cut. It has really cool shoulder pads, so it makes your shoulders look broad. It makes you look strong and confident. And because it makes your shoulders look a little more broad, because it does have shoulder pads, it's gonna make your waist look thinner. That is why this blazer is so flattering. Of course, the material is wrinkle-free. It's very high quality. It has beautiful gold luxe buttons, but this one is expensive, obviously. I purchased this one maybe a couple of years ago. It's gonna be a blazer that will stand the test of time. It is worth the investment because I do wear it a ton. However, if you don't wanna spend the money on it, I totally get it. The best similar option for the Balmain Blazer would be the Lily Silk Blazer. This one is also black, obviously. It does come in a couple of other different colors, though. It has the beautiful gold luxe buttons. It is also cut in at the waist. It's high quality, wrinkle free material. So I love both of these blazers. You can wear them with denim, like I said, dresses, skirts. Literally, the possibilities are endless. All right, item number two that every woman needs in terms of wardrobe essentials is a little black dress. And since it is fall time, I'm gonna talk about a long sleeve black dress. It's a fitted black dress. It is a sort of like a double jersey material. I still like to wear Spanx with this dress because it is fitted. Um, it's amazing. It is slimming. That material is wrinkle free. And of course you need a black dress because if you're gonna go to an event, if you have like a luncheon and you wanna look a little nicer, you can top it with a blazer like I have here. This is the Balmain blazer on one side and the Lily Silk blazer on the other side. So you guys can see them back to back and it, they are paired over the good American little black dress. And you can always count on a little black dress. Now it needs to be flattering, it needs to fit your body type, you need to feel good in it, you need to feel confident in it. So for me, it is this fitted good American dress. It's under $100, it's such a steal. Now another little black dress that I absolutely love that I've had for years, I consider this one of my absolute wardrobe essentials, this strapless little black dress by Norma Kamali. It's like $125. It's this really great wrinkle-free sort of jersey slick material. I love it. This is a great dress you could wear to a wedding. You could wear to an evening night out when you want to look fancy and you pair it with some gold heels and a gold handbag. Like it can literally be dressed up 
a ton or it can even be dressed down and worn with some simple slides and a jean jacket. This is the most versatile black dress I own hands down because it can be dressed up or dressed down. So I highly recommend this amazing LBD by Norma Kamali. All right, item number three is the black leather jacket or a brown leather jacket. It doesn't really matter what color. I would say if you don't already have a black leather jacket, I would go with black. If you already have a black leather jacket, I would go with a brown leather jacket. Those are two very versatile colors. I love a leather jacket. It's probably my most favorite type of jacket in my closet. And my personal style is a little bit more edgy, so I tend to wear leather jackets slash moto jackets more often than blazers. How about you? Are you a leather jacket girl or are you a blazer girl? So for me, like I said, leather jackets all the way. I'm obsessed with leather jackets. I love them. This one is actually from from the Nordstrom website. It's a high quality real leather jacket, but for a real leather jacket, the price point is amazing. I love this rich brown color. It's perfect for fall and winter. It looks good with denim, as you can see here. I paired it with my favorite wide leg jeans by Allison Olivia, and then just over a simple white bodysuit. So if you're gonna go the brown route, this would be my top pick. It's not oversized, it's not fitted. It's sort of just a regular fitting leather jacket. The leather is buttery soft. It sort of molds to your body, and again, a leather jacket can be worn so many different ways with denim, with skirts, with dresses, and you really just complete an outfit and edge it up a little bit when you add a black leather jacket. Now, or a brown leather jacket. If you didn't wanna go with a brown one, my next option would be the black Legence leather jacket obsessed with this leather jacket. It's got sleeves that are a little bit bigger. They're sort of like a Dolman shape. Um, I also love the All Saints black leather jacket. That one is amazing if you didn't want the bigger sleeves, if you, if you just wanted regular sleeves and just like a regular structured fitted black leather jacket. The All Saints one is hands down the best option for the money. It's gonna run you about $500 or so. And for a real leather jacket, that is an insanely good price. Wardrobe essential number four is the white button down and that is what I am wearing today. This is my all time favorite white button down hanging in my closet. It is the one I reach for most often. This one is by Frank and Eileen. It's made to look sort of wrinkled and crinkled up. So I love that about this because I don't have to worry about it getting wrinkled because it's kind of supposed to look that way. This material, it's soft, it feels good on my skin. I always love sizing up in my white button downs and then leaving the top portion sort of unbuttoned and creating this really cool V-neck. You could always put the collar up as well if you wanted to look a little more edgy in your white button down. I love rolling up the sleeves and pushing them up. This one is just perfect. You can't go wrong with a white button down. You can wear it to the office with black slacks topped with a blazer. You can wear it out at night with this denim midi skirt like I have it styled today with some really cool gold heels. This is probably what I'm gonna be wearing tonight. I'm gonna go meet some of my girlfriends for dinner and I think this is gonna be my exact outfit. So a white button down, honestly, if you don't have a good, clean, crisp, new white button down, I highly recommend adding it because you're gonna be able to wear it with all of the bottoms from this edit underneath any of the jackets from this edit. That's really the point of these 10 wardrobe basics is they can all be mixed and matched and worn together to create a plethora of outfits, which is going to make getting dressed for you so much easier. All right, item number five is the high-waisted flares. So if you don't already own a pair of denim that you absolutely love, that you feel good in, that you feel confident in, I suggest adding a pair of high-waisted flares to your denim collection because they are the most universally flattering style of denim on the market. Why, you may ask? Well, that's because the waist is high and the hemline is almost touching the ground. And this is gonna create the longest line between your belly button and the ground. So obviously that's gonna elongate your legs, elongate the bottom portion of your body, making you look taller and slimmer. So I absolutely love these. My top pick for the high-waisted flare are these by Legence. They have a little bit of stretch in them, so they hold their shape really well. They look really good from the back. They're gonna make your butt look really good, give it a little bit of a lift. I know I certainly need that since I'll be turning 50 this November. I feel like everything's kind of going south a little bit, no matter how much I work out. But these jeans, they also have a slit up the ankle, so very on trend, also very flattering. They'll do a great job of showing your favorite pair of heels. 
And then I paired these amazing jeans with the Legence tweed blazer. You guys, this blazer reminds me of a Chanel blazer because it's like this beautiful tweed material with gold lux buttons. But instead of being like $2,000 or so, which I'm pretty sure is what a Chanel jacket costs these days, this blazer is a lot less expensive than that. So what a great blazer. Again, you can't ever go wrong with a timeless and classic blazer. All right, item number six that I think every wardrobe needs is a denim jacket. So another jacket that I reach for a ton because I put a lot of thought into this list. I actually thought to myself, what items do I actually reach for the most and wear most often? And the denim jacket, 100% up there for sure. I wear it casual with leggings to yoga. I wear it dressier over a midi dress. I wear it with denim on denim. Like literally the possibilities are endless because a denim jacket can be worn so many different ways. This is a super casual way because you guys are always messaging me like, Heather, you do a lot of dressier looks, so we wanna see some more casual looks. Well, this is like what I would wear to meet a girlfriend for a coffee on Saturday morning. Um, these are the Spanx faux leather leggings, obsessed with these leggings, you guys. They're so slimming, they're very comfortable, they do a great job of sort of holding everything in. And when I wanna like be super casual and comfortable but still feel stylish, I will wear these Spanx faux leather leggings are also under $100, so what a steal for such a cool pair of leggings. And then I paired them with my favorite jean jacket. This one is by Frame Denim. It's just a normal jean jacket. It's not oversized. It's not shrunken. It's just like a regular denim jacket. It is a little bit distressed, which I think is cool, again, because it matches my personal style. I will also link my favorite just regular denim jacket that isn't as distressed in case you don't want all that distressing going on. And then I just did some New Balance sneakers and a really cool baseball cap. I think this one's from Anthropology, and I will be sure and link it down below as well for you guys. Okay, item number seven that every wardrobe needs in order to make it more functional is a black tee, a white tee, and a black bodysuit and a white bodysuit. Like, if I had to get rid of all my layering pieces, those are the four things I would absolutely have to have and couldn't live without. So my favorite tees, I have a couple. The two that I've most recently found that I'm obsessed with, they're like $28, are these baby crew neck tees from Express. I love them, they're soft, they're perfect with high-waisted denim. You don't really have to tuck them in. You can just kind of leave them scrunched around your waistline. So they're super comfortable. I think they look great with layered necklaces over them. Also, I love the ATM V-neck tee. If you wanted to do a V-neck, you guys know I'm prone to V-necks because they really do a great job of elongating this top portion of your body, especially if you add a neck stack and that's gonna make you look taller and slimmer. So the ATM white V-neck tee, the ATM black V-neck tee, another great staple that you can wear underneath all of your jackets. And then the bodysuit, that is my personal favorite, you guys. I'm obsessed with bodysuits. I wear them all the time. I like wearing them alone, but I love wearing them under jackets. Why? Because you don't get that bunching around your waistline. They're gonna make you look slimmer and they do a great job, obviously, of staying tucked in because it is a bodysuit. My favorite bodysuits, I love Skims bodysuits, literally the most comfortable bodysuits that I have in my closet. They're, they're stretchy. They come in tons of different colors, but I would say black, white, and nude would be like the three basics for sure. And item number eight in order to make your wardrobe more functional is a pair of black jeans. So I love black jeans because they can look a little bit more dressy. And so when you wanna get a little bit more dressed up, but you still wanna wear denim, black denim is your answer. And honestly, it's my personal favorite color of denim to wear. I prefer faded black denim because again, it gives off a bit of that edgy vibe, which really matches my style. If you're a bit more conservative, that's totally fine. I would say go with a solid pair of black jeans. I will link this faded black pair that I have on, but then this silhouette, which is called the skyscraper from Express, is also available in a solid black, and I will be sure and link that one as well. I love the skyscraper jean because it's a mid-rise. It's got a floor skimming hemline, and these are really cool because they have a front seam that goes from the top to the very bottom. So these are gonna make your legs look miles long, ladies. And these are crazy, crazy comfortable. So I love this skyscraper jean and I'm really loving this faded black wash. I think it fits in really well with these wardrobe essentials. 
I paired it with the white bodysuit that I talked about earlier that is definitely a must-have wardrobe essential. And then I wore it underneath this faux leather chocolate brown blazer. This one is from Express. I love it because it is sort of a bit oversized, so it's very on trend. But the cool thing about it is you can cinch it in in the back, so it makes it a little bit more fitted and it cuts it in at the waist to make this blazer actually flattering for an oversized blazer. So love this chocolate brown color too. You guys, chocolate brown is gonna be a huge color in 2023, this fall and winter. So anytime I can get my hands on anything chocolate brown, like literally I grab it because I know that's gonna be my favorite color to wear this fall. All right, wardrobe essential number nine is a high quality handbag. Now this doesn't have to be a designer handbag. I'm not saying that. You don't want it to look old. You don't want it to look worn down. You want this to be a neutral color as well, either black or tan are my two options, or maybe ivory. But as we're heading into fall, I would say go with black or tan. And it's really gonna be based on your wardrobe. Do you have more black in your wardrobe, or do you have more neutral you know, earth tones? Then you might wanna go with the tan or camel. If you wear more black, then you definitely obviously wanna go with the black, because you want this to be the one handbag you can grab and go, and it's gonna match everything. So for me, in the fall, I always go with a black handbag. This one is my favorite by YSL. It is the YSL Hobo Bag. This is a great size. It's perfect for day. It's perfect for night because it's croc embossed. I think it adds a little unique element to it. Now, I just said you didn't have to go designer. So if you didn't want to spend the money on the YSL bag, you could go with Kurt Geiger or Rebecca Minkoff. Those are two of my favorite high quality handbag designers that are really good quality. They make real leather handbags that look chic. They look modern. They're going to go with everything and they're just going to really elevate your looks, but they're not going to break the bank. So this one by Kurt Geiger is one of my favorites because it's got the mixed metal chain hardware. I also love the Rebecca Minkoff one that's black on black. It's got the black hardware. So that's obviously going to go with everything as well but just make sure that you pick a high quality handbag that's either black or tan and it's gonna go with everything so you don't even have to think about it when you grab your bag and go all right item number 10 that is a wardrobe essential is the trench coat so I don't think there's anything more timeless more classic more sophisticated and polished than a trench coat. Am I right? If you agree with me, leave me a comment down below. But this is a beautiful vegan leather chocolate brown trench coat from Allison Olivia. See, I told y'all I was going to add anything chocolate brown to my wardrobe this season. But this is a great one because it is vegan leather. You know, I'm a big proponent of leather. I love leather again because it's a bit edgy. It's also wrinkle free. And in the winter when it's cold, obviously this is going to be a great jacket because it's going to keep me warm. Um, I love this chocolate brown color a trench coat looks amazing with denim as you can see here i wore it with some girlfriend denim these are a high-waisted floor skimming flare jean very flattering it looks great with those jeans but then you could also wear it over a dress and i paired it over this amazing tan corset dress from revolve so as you can see whether you wear your trench coat over a dress or whether you wear it with denim it's very versatile it's a coat it's obviously going to go with so many different things it's going to do a great job of keeping you warm in the winter time but it's also going to do a great job of making you look and feel stylish so those were the 10 wardrobe essentials i think every woman over 40 needs let me know what your favorite one was and which one you wear the most often for more style information you can head over to sewheather.com and on instagram i'm so heather blog i hope all of you have a beautiful day because you deserve it and i will look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye-bye.